All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Bearded Brad. Appreciate y'all jumping into this video. I just wanna do a quick little rundown of the four setups that come with me out to the beach every time I come out here and what I use them for. Hopefully help y'all out when you're picking uh, which rod and reel you wanna use uh, based on what fish you're gonna be targeting off the beach. So we're just gonna do a quick little rundown for you. First up, I got the Pin Wrath. This is the 4,000 size. I bought this reel about a year ago. I really just wanted to try it out. It was a $29 reel pin had just come out with. Um, being, a, being a pin guy, I just wanted to see what, what you could really get for a $29 reel. So that's why I bought it. It's actually turned out to be a good reel. I've not had any issues out of it. Uh, I'll post a video up here. Y'all go check it out, see my little one year review of it. Um, it's been a good reel. And I got that paired up with the Ugly Stick GX2. It is a medium action rod. This is a setup that I use for whiting. Got the whiting rig on right now with a little bit of fish bites. I'm trying to see what's biting out here today, but that is a perfect setup for whiting. It is a medium action, but it's got a really light tip. So even when you are fighting those smaller whiting, you still get a fun fight out of them. It's not just like you're dragging in the weight. Uh, so perfect rod to be paired up with that for the whiting rig. Next up, we're gonna move on to probably my favorite setup. This thing comes with me every time, no matter what. Uh, and this is gonna be the Pin Battle 2. It is also in the 4000 size. As far as the Pin Wrath and the Whiting setup, you could definitely get away with like a 2000, 2500, or 3000. 4000 reel is kind of in my wheelhouse. That's where I like to stay around because it's a very versatile reel. You can use it for fishing just about anything. Take them out on the kayak with me as well. Um, even with this 4000, I'll take them offshore with me catching uh, some trigger fish, red snapper, stuff like that. But yeah, so it's a pin battle to 4000. And I got this paired on the Star Stellar Surf Rod. This is the 10 foot, I don't know how well y'all can see that, uh, two to five ounce. These Star Stellar rods are definitely my favorite surf rods. These things are awesome. Uh, really, you can really launch those baits out there with the 10 foot version. Got a great action to it. <clears throat> Love the Star Stellar rods. I got three of them. Uh, that's the only one I got out here with me today, uh, but, but they're great rods. If you haven't checked them out, make sure y'all do so. Uh, but right now I just got this rod paired up uh, with a Salty's Pompano rig. We are going after Pompano today, uh, but really a great all around setup. Whether you're pompano fishing, whiting fishing, or even if you're going after some bull reds or black drum, something like that. Uh, it's a great rod and uh, one of my favorite setups for sure. Moving on to number three. This is a setup that I just recently put together. I've had both the rod and the reel for quite some time, but they've never been paired together. And I've been pretty pleased with how they've done for me. And so that is going to be the pin battle two and this is a 6,000 size and the rod I got it on is a pin squadron and that is a 12 foot rod if y'all can see that and so when I bought that rod I really bought it to do some shark fishing from the beach I had it paired up with the 7500 spin fisher um, that 12 foot will really help you launch those bigger baits for the sharks out as well as give you the backbone to battle a bigger shark if you do hook into one. So that's the reason I bought the rod. But I really have seen a lot of guys talk about the 12 foot, uh, like the over the bar or the ninja tackle rods. So I'd love to give ninja tackle rods a try, but I do not have one. But since I already had a 12 foot rod that I've been using for shark fishing, I decided to put it on a little smaller reel um, to help me launch those baits out there. Depending on where we're fishing, you know, that bar can be pretty far out there, so to try to reach the bar, or potentially even get over the bar, you do need a pretty good distance there. Uh, so that 12-foot rod really helps me get the distance. Again, I've only been using this one for a couple weeks now, uh, as far as the setup, and I've been pretty pleased with it. Uh, so if you're looking to get a larger rod and to really get over there, the Pen Squadron's a good option. I've heard a lot of people talk about the Ninja Tackle Daggers. I uh, will be trying one of those out soon, but I don't have one right now. Uh, but that squadron will definitely help you launch those baits out. All right, and last but not least of the four rods that come with me every time I surf fish is the Pen Pursuit 3. 
And again, it's a 4,000 size. Like I said, 4,000 is kind of all around good option for you there. And I got this one paired up with a pin Prevail. And this is a 10 foot rod as well, uh, rated for one to five ounces. This pin Prevail rod is actually really good. Um, I've used some other pin rods that I wasn't a big fan of, but this Prevail, it's got, a, it's got a really good action to it. I don't know, I don't even say exactly what it is on there. Uh, but, but I can really cast this one a mile and it, it's still got a light enough tip that if you are fighting a smaller fish you can still feel that fish whereas like that 12 foot squadron if you catch a smaller fish on there you're just going to be pulling it in and might not even know you got a fish on there uh, that's mainly used for launching baits out in bigger fish uh, but this prevail the 10 foot model you still get a lot of distance on it but you get a lot of fill out of that rod as well so i really like that uh, Probably maybe my second favorite rod that I'm using right now, taken out with me every trip. Uh, but I hope that helps y'all out. I get a lot of questions about what setups to use or what rods to pair with what reels and all that. Um, so 4,000 size reels would be my recommendation for surf fishing. Any of these rods are great rods. Uh, again, like the Ninja Tackle Dagger, Over the Bar, those get a lot of good reviews as well. Uh, just depends on what you're looking for, but Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if y'all enjoyed that video. If you are not subscribed, make sure you do so right now. Spring is just around the corner. The bite is about to get hot. We're going to be catching a ton of pompano. You don't want to miss what we got coming up, so make sure you're subscribed. But until next time, y'all take care.